Hey, thanks for joining us. It's another episode of Talk and Fight. Tonight, we've got Neil the Deal with us, and he's discussing with me and you up-and-comers in the boxing ring. He's already talked about a uh, young fighter out of Brooklyn, and now he's about to tell us uh, all about a guy from Glasgow. Who you got for us, Neil? Hey, how you doing, everyone? Nice to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. It's fantastic. Uh, but uh, this is my number two up-and-comer uh, in the world, all right? Number one was Lopez. This is now number two. Number two, in, in my opinion, is an individual named Jay McFarlane. Jay McFarlane. Now, he goes by the handle JJ Ghost, all right? That's his handle. The guy's got a cool handle right off the hop. The guy's called JJ Ghost, all right? So this is, this is, this is who he is. He's a really young up and comer. He's the uh, he's 22 years old. He lives in Glasgow, Scotland. All right. He's the Scottish uh, cruiserweight champion of the world. I'm Scottish. Newfie Scots gotta like me. Um, so he's one of my favorites because he comes from the old school, the old country, like myself. And uh, I, I mean, I'm from Barra, the island of Barra. If you guys want to check that out, that's where I'm from. Okay, uh, via my mom from Barra. Anyways, uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. McFarlane, he's 22 years old. He weighs 195 pounds. He's in the cruiserweight division, and he is the, uh, he is the country's champion in that division. Now, since COVID started, we know all about COVID. We don't really know what's happening with COVID, but we know of it. Um, he's unfortunately not able to fight. What do you do? You're a fighter. You can't fight. I guess you get a job. So the guy decides, well, what am I going to do? So Jay decides, maybe I'll go get my license to cut hair. The guy is a barber right now because of COVID. And he's just standing around cutting hair, taking pictures of people's hair when he could be easily at the top of the world being a world champion. But because of what we're, the world's, you know what I mean? He, he's stuck. He's stuck. So he's a barber now. He's uh, expressed to me, I did contact him a little bit and let him know what we were going to be doing just to make sure he's not upset or anything. He expressed to me personally that he'd be interested in coming to Canada and start fighting for Canada. Yeah, baby. Now we're bringing in the big, big guns. These are the big guns, and the guy wants to, wants to make us look good. Well, maybe not as good as me, but he's make, making the country look good. So he's definitely somebody that we would embrace coming into the country. Uh, we can support him in any uh, facet that we can. And he's, he's, he's expressed his, uh, his abilities. He, he wants to do good for us. You know what I mean? Like he's tr really going to try for the Canadians. So we're looking at maybe if anybody's out there, are you hiding behind the door? The shadow behind the door. Come on down. Jay McFarland needs a manager. Okay. I'm a little busy here. You know, I, I, you know, but there is somebody out there. You managers out there watching this stuff, contact him. He's the guy you want to call. Call, call him up. He's on the internet. Just go to his site, and, and there you go. I just gave you, a, a, you know, I just love putting money in your pockets, Mr. Promoter. So enjoy the fact that Mr. McFarland is going to be a Canadian. You know, us Canadians. This is who we are. If Thanks. you're not Canadian, who are you? Thanks very much, Neil. So bring out Jay. Thanks, Grant. What do you think? You, you looking forward to meeting him? I, I love uh, meeting every Scot. Every Scot when I've met has been a good guy. He's uh, he sounds like a heck of a guy. Uh, making some great money, guys, he's great, great fight. He's a good guy. Um, right. Well, th thanks very much for that, Neil. I appreciate uh, sharing that information with us and, and fans out there watching tonight. Um, you're welcome, Greg. I hope they subscribe to our channel and tell their friends about it and share these links with them. Because um, we look, we're looking forward. It'll be really big in Nova Scotia. 
in the East Coast, all the people in the East Coast should look out for this guy. And I know there's a lot of boxing fans in the East Coast. You guys love to drink and fight. That's what you do. It's your job. You just go, you know what I'm saying? So you East Coasters, check this McFarland kid out. He's going to tear your teeth out by the root. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll see you next week, Neil. Thank you very much. Peace out.